So now we're going to come up with our three bridge designs at a 1 to 120 scale and they're all going to be truss bridges, the triangular ones. So let's take a look at what we have here and let's try to figure this out here. So I've got the important information I need. Uh, 100 foot length, 25 foot width if I need that. Height of my bridge is going to be 30 to 40 feet. So I've got that information here. And now let's try to figure out why does he want me to have a 1 to 120 scale. So, why would he pick that number? That's a weird number. doesn't really make sense. Let's figure that one out also. So looking at my drawings here, a 1 to 120 scale. Well, we know it needs to be a reduced scale because 100 feet will not fit on my piece of paper. So why a 1 to 120 reduced scale? So what we know that means is that one unit on paper equals 120 units in real life. All right, so one inch on paper equals 120 inches in real life. Well, 120 inches, right? Let's figure that one out. So that's 120 is so 1 inch equals 12 times 10, right? So 12 times 10 is 120. Well, we know that 12 inches is what? So 1 inch on paper equals 1 foot times 10 in real life. So one inch on paper equals one foot times 10, 10 feet in real life, All right? So that makes a little bit more sense of why we'd have a one to 120 scale because one inch on my piece of paper equals 10 feet in real life. It's kind of all nice round numbers. So we can do that, no problem, right here. So let's take a look at some of our bridge designs. So we know we need it to be 100 feet long. So 100 feet divided by 10, 100 divided by 10 is 10. So I'm gonna pull out my ruler. And I'm doing this with marker. I suggest you do it with a pencil. And piece of paper is eight and a half by 11, so you're gonna to to turn your paper sideways. And I'm just gonna draw a 10 inch line right here. Now remember your graph paper has quarter inch grids, so everything should line up nicely. So I'm gonna start here with a zero. And I'm gonna to go to 10 inches, right there. So that's 10 inches on paper. I'm gonna write the unit. Do not write the paper unit, write the real life unit. You always write the real life unit, which is 10 times 10 is 100 feet. So we know our bridge has to be that long. 10 inches on paper equals 100 feet in real life. So your bridge has to be at least 10 inches on the paper, which you write 100 feet. Our height has to be between 30 and 40 feet. Well, we know each inch on paper is 10 in real life, so that would be three inches to four inches. So I'm gonna come over here and I'm just gonna draw, I started a little bit low, I oh, here we can come down this way. So I'm gonna draw a line that is three inches. Okay, one, two, three. And again, your quarter inch graph paper grid, it should line up exactly on one of those grids. So this right here is 30 feet. All right, so I know that that's 30 feet tall, that's 100 feet long. Let's just make this a rectangle here. Bing. 
Just finishing off that side, finish off this side. Now, if I already wrote 100 foot up here, do I need to write 100 feet down here? The answer is no, because I can see that that length is the exact same as that length. If I already wrote 30 there, I don't need to write 30 there, because that's redundant. It's extra tough, I don't need. So I've got a box right here. This box is 100 feet by 30 feet in real life. If I wanted to extend it that one inch, here, I'll do it in a different color. Let's do this one purple. So once I have this box here that is either 100 feet by 30 feet or, I'm just going to put here that this is 40, 40 goes here to here, and just to make it clearer, the 30 feet goes here to here. So I start out with my rectangle right here. I know I have my length, I know of my height. So now whatever I want to do inside of this rectangle to make my truss bridge is entirely up to you. So you can kind of start playing out, you know, you're going to have something, some kind of bridge in that little area right there. So just coming up with a rough design. And I'm just going to Cut this in half right here so I know that the middle is right here. Um, the middle of that, you know, if I wanted, it's right here. I'm just picking some spots. So this is the part where it's going to be entirely up to you and your design. I'm just coming up with a little sample right here. Coming up with a really simple truss bridge design. So now I've got some points. They're all kind of evenly spaced out. And let's come down right here. So here I've got a 30 foot tall bridge, a 100 foot long bridge that satisfies our requirements. It's a truss bridge design and that is what we want. So we're going to come up with three different designs for that. This is just a really simple one. You're more than welcome to get very creative with it. You know, if you wanted to put more detail in there or you know, I could come down here and add more parts you would use your ruler of course to make it nice and neat so now this bridge is 40 feet perfectly within our requirements perfectly acceptable perfectly acceptable so we're coming up with three different designs now if we've already done bridge designer you can use some of those designs because we know those bridges work. We know they work well. Uh, one thing to be careful of is if I pull up Bridge Designer here, and if I'm looking at Bridge Designer, and if I want to fit this into my 100 foot by 30 feet or 40 feet, if I look at this and I count it, I've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, right? So I have one too many things right there. So if I wanted to use this for my assignment, what I would do is just kind of mentally just kind of delete this last little segment right here and just kind of cut it off so you have only 10 segments. Each one would be an inch. Or you can make it so each one is like 0.9 inches and then it would all add up. But that's up to you. All right. So on a piece of paper, you're going to end up or on three pieces of paper with three different bridge designs. All of them are going to be 100 feet long, 
30 to 40 feet tall at a 1 to 120 scale. So on your piece of paper, it's going to be 3 to 4 inches by 10 inches. Submit all three of those drawings, and then we'll go on from there.